Prince William and Prince Charles to hold summit on royal family future after Megxit. Prince William and Prince Charles will hold a summit on the future of the royal family for the next two generations. Following the death of Prince Philip and the Sussex royals' decision to step down from royal duties, William and Charles will review the future of the monarchy. The Prince of Wales, next in the line of succession, and the Duke of Cambridge will consult Queen Elizabeth II on how the royal family should move forward. Royal insiders say William, Charles and Her Majesty will discuss over the coming weeks how the monarchy should evolve. The discussions would center on whether the royal family should carry on with its traditional model of thousands of engagements a year. Suggested alternatives are believed to be whether to spread out between a broad base of full-time and part-time working royals, or cut down the number of engagements and patronages and use fewer members of the family to fulfill them. A source said, the question is whether you start off by deciding how many patronages and engagements there should be and then work out how many people are needed to achieve them, or whether you decide how many people there should be, which will dictate how many engagements and patronages they can take on. The sources told the Sunday Telegraph William favors a more targeted approach to royal family duties. They told the outlet the Duke believes he can make a more meaningful contribution to the number of organizations he supports by working with fewer. Insiders have also said any changes to the monarch would happen gradually rather than a step change. Sources also told the Telegraph official and personal duties cannot be decided separately because they are too closely linked. The summit is in response to the death of Philip and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's departure from the firm. Royal expert and author Penny Junior told Express.co.uk both Prince Edward and Sophie. The Countess of Wessex could take over the roles left vacant by the Sussex royals. She said, We do have some very competent members of the royal family who have not always been quite at the forefront. And I would say the Wessexes will certainly fall into that category. Edward and Sophie have been quietly doing good things in the background and now because there is a vacuum where Harry and Meghan once were. I think the press are taking more interest in what they are doing and Sophie is appearing more in the newspapers where perhaps it would have been Meghan before. Charles has been said to support a slimmed-down monarchy, originally with only seven royals carrying out appearances and duties. Paul Burrell, Princess Diana's former butler, told Us Weekly, Charles has made it quite clear that he intends to slim down the monarchy and reduce the number of full-time working members of the family to those in the immediate line of succession. Following Meghan and Harry's decision to scale back official duties, Brittany Barger, deputy editor of Royal Central, told the Daily Star, I think Prince Charles is probably disappointed as he always had Harry and Meghan in his plan for a slimmed-down monarchy. Now. That slimmed down monarchy will have to be reevaluated.